Question 1. Which of the following best describes the role of Cisco Email Security Appliance, ES Appliance, in securing email communications? A. Filtering web traffic B. Filtering and securing email traffic C. Providing VPN services D. Securing DNS servers. The correct answer is B. Filtering and securing email traffic. Explanation. The Cisco Email Security Appliance, ES Appliance, is specifically designed to filter and secure email traffic. It helps in protecting organizations from various email-borne threats such as phishing, malware, spam, and other types of malicious content. By analyzing incoming and outgoing email traffic, it applies various security measures to mitigate risks and ensure the integrity and confidentiality of email communications. Question 2. Which of the following is a common email security threat that Cisco Email Security Appliance helps mitigate? A. SQL injection attacks B. Cross-site scripting, XSS, attacks C. Email phishing attacks D. DDoS attacks. The correct answer is C. UCS is a converged infrastructure solution that integrates computing, networking, storage access, and virtualization resources into a cohesive system. Explanation. Cisco Unified Computing System, UCS, is a converged infrastructure solution that combines computing, networking, storage access, and virtualization resources into a single, integrated architecture. UCS simplifies data center operations, improves resource utilization, and enhances scalability and flexibility. Question 3. What is a crucial step in configuring Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, to implement email encryption? A. Enabling TLS encryption for outbound emails B. Disabling SPF checks for incoming emails C. Setting up DKIM signing for incoming emails D. Configuring open relays for inbound emails. The correct answer is A. Enabling TLS encryption for outbound emails. Explanation. Enabling transport layer security, TLS, encryption for outbound emails is a vital step in securing email communication. TLS ensures that emails are encrypted during transit, safeguarding them against interception and eavesdropping. This aligns with best practices for securing email communications as recommended by industry standards and regulations such as HIPAA, Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, and GDPR, General Data Protection Regulation. Question 4. In the context of Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, what is the purpose of implementing email encryption? A. To prevent malware attacks B. To ensure confidentiality of email content C. To enhance email deliverability D. To minimize spam emails. The correct answer is B. To ensure confidentiality of email content. Explanation. Implementing email encryption with Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, is primarily aimed at ensuring the confidentiality of email content. By encrypting emails, sensitive information within the messages remains protected from unauthorized access or interception. This is particularly crucial for organizations handling sensitive data, such as personal identifiable information, PII, or financial details, as it helps maintain compliance with data protection regulations like the GDPR and CCPA, California Consumer Privacy Act. Question 5. When configuring Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, for email encryption, which cryptographic protocol is commonly used to secure email communication? A. SSL, Secure Sockets Layer B, SSH, Secure Shell C, S slash MIME, Secure slash Multipurpose Internet Mail Extensions D, SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol. The correct answer is C, S slash MIME, Secure slash Multipurpose Internet Mail Extensions Explanation, S slash MIME, Secure slash multi-purpose internet mail extensions is a widely adopted cryptographic protocol used for securing email communication. It provides end-to-end encryption and digital signatures, ensuring the confidentiality, integrity, and authenticity of emails. Question 6. Mr. Smith, an employee at ABC Corp., receives an email from an unknown sender claiming to be from the IT department, requesting him to click on a link to update his login credentials due to a security breach. What should Mr. Smith do in this situation? A. Click on the link and update his login credentials as requested. B. Forward the email to his colleagues. C. Report the email to the IT department as a potential phishing attempt. D. Ignore the email and delete it immediately. The correct answer is C. Report the email to the IT department as a potential phishing attempt. Explanation. 
In this scenario, the email exhibits characteristics of a phishing attempt, as it urges Mr. Smith to click on a link to update his login credentials under the guise of a security breach. However, it's crucial for individuals to exercise caution and verify the authenticity of such emails before taking any action. Mr. Smith should refrain from clicking on the link and instead report the email to the IT department for further investigation. Question 7. Which technology does Cisco Email Security Appliance utilize to encrypt sensitive email communications? A. SHA-256 BSSL slash TLSC, ICE-D, RSA. The correct answer is BSSL slash TLS. Explanation. Cisco Email Security Appliance leverages SSL slash TLS, Secure Sockets Layer slash Transport Layer Security, technology to encrypt sensitive email communications between the sender and the recipient. SSL slash TLS encryption ensures that emails are transmitted securely over the internet, protecting them from eavesdropping and interception by unauthorized parties. Question 8. What is one advantage of using Cisco Email Security Appliance's content filtering feature? A. Preventing malware infections B. Accelerating web browsing speed C. Enhancing server performance D. Reducing network latency The correct answer is A. Preventing malware infections. Explanation. One advantage of using Cisco Email Security Appliance's content filtering feature is its capability to prevent malware infections. Content filtering examines the content of incoming and outgoing emails, identifying and blocking attachments or links that contain malicious code or malware. By proactively filtering out malicious content, organizations can reduce the risk of malware infections spreading through their email systems, thereby enhancing overall cybersecurity posture and protecting sensitive data from compromise. Question 9. What role does digital certificates play in implementing email encryption with Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA? A. Authenticating email recipients B. Encrypting email attachments C. Verifying email senders D. Filtering spam emails. The correct answer is C. Verifying email senders. Explanation. Digital certificates play a crucial role in implementing email encryption with Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, by verifying the identity of email senders. When an email is digitally signed using a certificate, the recipient can verify the authenticity of the sender and ensure that the email has not been tampered with during transit. Question 10. Mr. Anderson, the IT administrator, is configuring Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, for his organization. He wants to ensure that sensitive emails are encrypted before being sent to external recipients. Which feature of SESA should Mr. Anderson configure to achieve this? A. Data Loss Prevention, DLP, Policies B. Outbound Mail Policies C. Inbound Mail Policies D. Message Tracking The correct answer is B. Outbound Mail Policies Explanation To ensure that sensitive emails are encrypted before being sent to external recipients, Mr. Anderson should configure Outbound Mail Policies in Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA. Outbound mail policies allow administrators to define rules and actions for outgoing emails, including encryption settings based on criteria such as sender, recipient, or message content. Question 11. When integrating Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, with Active Directory for user authentication, what is the primary benefit? A. Simplified user management B. Improved email delivery speed C. Enhanced encryption capabilities D. Increased network bandwidth. The correct answer is A. Simplified user management. Explanation. Integrating SESA with Active Directory allows for simplified user management within the organization. Active Directory integration enables SESA to authenticate users based on their existing Active Directory credentials, eliminating the need for separate authentication systems. Question 12. What is a key feature of Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, that helps combat spam and malware in email communications? A. Intrusion Prevention System. IPS, B, Sender Policy Framework, SPF, C, Anti-Spam and Anti-Malware Scanning D, Virtual Private Network, VPN. The correct answer is C, Anti-Spam and Anti-Malware Scanning. Explanation, Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, offers robust anti-spam and anti-malware scanning capabilities to protect against unwanted spam emails and malicious content. 
These features employ various techniques such as content filtering, heuristic analysis, and signature-based detection to identify and block spam emails and malware-infected attachments. Question 13. Mr. Smith, the IT administrator, notices a sudden increase in spam emails flooding the organization's email server. Which technique can Mr. Smith employ in Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, to mitigate this issue? A. Enabling Sender Policy Framework, SPFB, Configuring IP Reputation Filtering. C. Implementing Data Loss Prevention, DLP, Policies. D. Enabling Domain Keys Identified Mail, DKIM. The correct answer is B. Configuring IP Reputation Filtering. Explanation. To mitigate the influx of spam emails, Mr. Smith can configure IP reputation filtering in Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA. IP reputation filtering evaluates the reputation of sending IP addresses based on historical behavior and reputation databases. By blocking emails from IP addresses with poor reputations, organizations can effectively reduce the volume of spam emails reaching their email servers, thereby improving overall email security. Question 14. Which of the following is a step involved in creating and managing email policies in Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA? A. Configuring IP routing tables B. Defining user authentication methods C. Setting up VPN connections D. Configuring message filters and actions. The correct answer is D. Configuring message filters and actions. Explanation. Creating and managing email policies in CESA involves configuring message filters and actions. Message filters allow administrators to define criteria for identifying and categorizing incoming and outgoing emails based on attributes such as sender, recipient, subject, and content. Once messages are filtered, administrators can specify actions to be taken, such as blocking, quarantining, or redirecting emails based on policy requirements. Question 15. Mr. Anderson, an IT administrator, wants to implement email encryption for sensitive communications in his organization. Which feature of Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, can he utilize for this purpose? A. URL filtering. B. SPF, Sender Policy Framework C, TLS encryption. D. Content filtering. The correct answer is C. TLS encryption. Explanation. Mr. Anderson can utilize TLS, Transport Layer Security, encryption feature of Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, to encrypt sensitive email communications between the sender and the recipient. TLS encryption ensures secure transmission of emails over the internet by encrypting the communication channel between mail servers. Question 16. Which component of Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, facilitates the enforcement of email security policies and filtering rules? A. GUI. Graphical User Interface, B, LDAP, Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, C, ESA, Email Security Appliance, D, SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. The correct answer is C, ESA, Email Security Appliance Explanation. The ESA, Email Security Appliance, component of Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, is responsible for enforcing email security policies and filtering rules. ESA acts as a gateway for inbound and outbound email traffic, intercepting and inspecting messages based on predefined policies and rule sets. It applies various security measures, such as anti-spam filtering, antivirus scanning, content filtering, and encryption, to mitigate email-borne threats and ensure compliance with organizational policies and regulatory requirements. Question 17. Ms. Garcia the security analyst, is tasked with monitoring email traffic for suspicious activities in Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA. Which feature should Ms. Garcia utilize to analyze security events and detect anomalies effectively? A. Message tracking. B. Sender authentication. C. IP reputation filtering. D. Content filtering. The correct answer is A. Message tracking. Explanation. To analyze security events and detect anomalies effectively, Ms. Garcia should utilize the message tracking feature in Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA. Message tracking allows administrators to trace the delivery path of emails, view message details, and analyze email traffic patterns. By monitoring message logs and tracking email activities, Ms. Garcia can identify suspicious behavior, 
such as unusual message volumes, unauthorized access attempts, or potential security breaches, and take appropriate action to mitigate risks and ensure email security. Question 18. What role does reputation filtering play in Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, regarding email security? A. Authenticating email senders B. Analyzing email content for malicious attachments C. Evaluating the reputation of sending IP addresses D. Encrypting email communication The correct answer is C. Evaluating the reputation of sending IP addresses. Explanation Reputation filtering in Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, involves evaluating the reputation of sending IP addresses based on their historical behavior and reputation scores. By assessing the reputation of sending sources, organizations can effectively filter out emails from known spam sources and malicious senders, thereby reducing the risk of spam, phishing, and malware attacks. Question 19. When customizing quarantine settings in Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, what is the purpose of specifying quarantine thresholds? A. To define the frequency of quarantine reports B. To set the maximum number of emails allowed in quarantine C. To determine the duration emails remain in quarantine D. To configure quarantine access permissions. The correct answer is B. To set the maximum number of emails allowed in quarantine. Explanation. Specifying quarantine thresholds in Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, allows administrators to set limits on the maximum number of emails that can be held in quarantine. By defining these thresholds, organizations can manage storage usage effectively and ensure that the quarantine does not become overwhelmed with excessive emails. Question 20. What is the primary purpose of implementing data loss prevention, DLP, with Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA? A. To enhance network performance B. To prevent unauthorized access to email servers C to protect sensitive data from being leaked or lost via email D, to improve email delivery speed. The correct answer is C, to protect sensitive data from being leaked or lost via email. Explanation, implementing data loss prevention, DLP, with Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, aims to protect sensitive data from being leaked or lost through email communications. DLP solutions help organizations identify and prevent the unauthorized transmission of sensitive information, such as personally identifiable information, PII, financial data, intellectual property, and confidential documents, via email. Question 21. Which email authentication protocol helps verify the authenticity of the sender's domain and prevent email spoofing? A. SMTPB, SPF, Sender Policy Framework, C. POP3D, IMAP. The correct answer is B, SPF, Sender Policy Framework Explanation. SPF, Sender Policy Framework, is an email authentication protocol that helps verify the authenticity of the sender's domain and prevent email spoofing. SPF allows domain owners to publish DNS records specifying the authorized mail servers allowed to send emails on behalf of their domain. Question 22. In the context of email authentication, what role does SPF, Sender Policy Framework, play in preventing email abuse? A. SPF validates the authenticity of the sender's domain B. SPF encrypts email transmission C. SPF verifies the integrity of email content D. SPF blocks malicious attachments in emails. The correct answer is A. SPF validates the authenticity of the sender's domain. Explanation. SPF, Sender Policy Framework plays a crucial role in preventing email abuse by validating the authenticity of the sender's domain. SPF allows domain owners to publish DNS records specifying the authorized mail servers permitted to send emails on behalf of their domain. When an email is received, the recipient's mail server can check the SPF record of the sender's domain to verify if the sending server is authorized to send emails for that domain. Question 23. In the context of Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, what is an essential consideration when implementing message filtering policies? A. Filtering based on email size B. Implementing attachment scanning C. Prioritizing outbound emails D. Enforcing domain authentication. The correct answer is B. Implementing attachment scanning. Explanation. Implementing attachment scanning is an essential consideration when implementing message filtering policies in Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA. 
Attachment scanning allows organizations to detect and block malicious attachments containing malware or other security threats. Question 24. Mr. Martinez, the network administrator, is configuring advanced threat protection in Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, to defend against sophisticated email attacks. Which feature should Mr. Martinez prioritize to enhance the organization's security posture? A. URL rewriting. B. Domain-based message authentication, reporting, and conformance, Mark C. Advanced Malware Protection, AMPD, Center Policy Framework, SPF. The correct answer is C. Advanced Malware Protection, AMP Explanation. Advanced Malware Protection, AMP, is a critical feature for defending against sophisticated email attacks in Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA. AMP utilizes advanced threat detection techniques, including sandboxing and file reputation analysis, to identify and block malware-laden attachments and malicious URLs embedded within emails. Question 25. What role does URL rewriting play in Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, regarding email security? A. Reducing email latency B. Blocking malicious URLs C. Resolving URL redirects D. Enforcing email encryption. The correct answer is B, blocking malicious URLs. Explanation, URL rewriting in Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, plays a crucial role in email security by blocking malicious URLs embedded within emails. When enabled, URL rewriting modifies hyperlinks in incoming emails to redirect them through the appliance's security scanning processes. Question 26. How does integrating Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, with Cisco SecureX contribute to unified security management? A. By centralizing threat intelligence feeds B. By providing real-time email traffic analysis C. By optimizing email server performance D. By enabling automated incident response workflows. The correct answer is D. By enabling automated incident response workflows. Explanation. Integrating Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, with Cisco SecureX facilitates unified security management by enabling automated incident response workflows. SecureX integrates security products and services, including CESA, to provide a centralized platform for managing and responding to security events. Question 27. Mr. Brown, the IT administrator, is deploying Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, as part of the organization's secure email gateway solution. What is a best practice for optimizing CESA deployment? A. Enabling open relays for inbound email traffic. B. Configuring default allow policies for email filtering. C. Implementing outbound mail policies to prevent data leakage. D. Disabling message tracking for improved performance. The correct answer is C. Implementing outbound mail policies to prevent data leakage. Explanation. A best practice for optimizing Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, deployment is to implement outbound mail policies to prevent data leakage. Outbound mail policies allow organizations to define rules and actions for outgoing emails, including content filtering and encryption settings. Question 28. How does Cisco SecureX enhance the threat detection capabilities of Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA? A. By integrating with Endpoint Security Solutions B. By performing deep packet inspection of email traffic C. By leveraging artificial intelligence for anomaly detection D. By decrypting encrypted email communications. The correct answer is A. By integrating with Endpoint Security Solutions. Explanation. Cisco SecureX enhances the threat detection capabilities of Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, by integrating with Endpoint Security Solutions. SecureX enables cross-product visibility and correlation of security events across the network, endpoint, and cloud environments. Question 29. Ms. Thompson, the security analyst, is tasked with evaluating the deployment of Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, as a secure email gateway. What is a recommended best practice for optimizing CESA performance? A. Enabling deep packet inspection for all inbound emails. B. Implementing strict sender authentication policies. C. Configuring email archiving for historical analysis. D. Leveraging cloud-based email filtering services. The correct answer is B. Implementing strict sender authentication policies. Explanation. 
a recommended best practice for optimizing Cisco Email Security Appliance, SESA, performance is to implement strict sender authentication policies. Sender authentication mechanisms, such as SPF, DKIM, and MARC, help validate the authenticity of email senders and prevent email spoofing and phishing attacks. Question 30. Which email authentication protocol provides a framework for domain owners to specify how email receivers should handle unauthenticated emails? A. SPF, Sender Policy Framework B, DKIM, Domain Keys Identified Mail C, Mark, Domain-Based Message Authentication, Reporting, and Conformance D, DLS, Transport Layer Security. The correct answer is C, Mark, Domain-Based Message Authentication, Reporting, and Conformance Explanation. Mark, Domain-Based Message Authentication, Reporting, and conformance, provides a framework for domain owners to specify how email receivers should handle unauthenticated emails. Mark builds upon SPF and DKIM by allowing domain owners to publish policies instructing email receivers on how to process emails that fail authentication checks.